All right, folks, here it is, episode 100. We actually made it. And this Vesna was for the season that we had just played and were unfortunately eliminated from the playoffs, which, as of when I'm recording this, actually has not come out yet. But New Jersey ended up going on to win the Cup. And as recommended, I saw I'm going to be simulating the rest of the career of one Tino Manny. So we decided to go with the Washington Capitals here. And look at this team, by the way. Like, holy crap. If this wasn't a team destined to win, I don't know what is. That is the most absurd roster I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, as you can see here, we are already doing very well early on. And then we go on to win another Vesna, as you know we did at the beginning of the video there. And we are also going to get the William M. Jennings this season. So that is... Just a couple of many to come, trust me. Get the President's Trophy by 20 points and 10 wins. That is a ridiculous margin there. We had a great year, 48 wins, 921 save percentage. But unfortunately, we would be deleted in round number one, seven games by the Columbus Blue Jackets. The team is still very nasty looking here. I want to call this year two or whatever, but I don't know what to call it because... It's year two of the simulation, but it's not really, you know, year two of the career. So I'm going to try to avoid that as much as necessary during the commentary. And then I'll try to maybe put the little pop-up things that show the year. And I'll try to have it be accurate to the actual year. And by doing that, or sorry, to do that, I will probably count backwards. So I'll probably go from year 25 and then just go reverse until I have them all. But anyways, still on Washington here. Team is still very good. And yeah, we had a lot of good runs with this team. And this one will be the best. A Stanley Cup. That's right. We take home the Stanley Cup here in, I want to say, year three. But it's not. It's year whatever that little pop-up thing said. So here's Tino Manny holding the cup as a Washington Capital. Which, you know, as a Capitals fan myself, that's a big deal. Champions. Yeah, that's right. I still don't understand that picture, to be honest. I don't get why he looks like that. But anyway, also won the President's Trophy. And we're still with the Capitals here again. Uh, the team is absurd once more. Um, yeah, it was a very, very good run with this team, to say the least. I had a pretty decent start there, 12-5-1. But again, did very well getting a Vesna and a Jennings once more. Just adding to that trophy case and really... Really developing an insane career here. President's Trophy winners again. 56 wins this year from Tino Manny. The team would be eliminated in the conference finals by the Ottawa Senators. And just because why not, I decided to go to New Jersey. So yeah, here we are in New Jersey. The defense doesn't look great. The offense looks pretty solid though. But yeah, didn't start off well. So I said, get me out of here. And out of here they got me. Went all the way to Edmonton. This team does look pretty good, I must say. And we obviously have two great goalies there. Another Vesna and another William M. Jennings for Tino Manny. It's pretty much just a guarantee at this point. I mean, not really, but another President's Trophy. That's starting to seem like a guarantee. 45 wins from Tino Manns, which would be tied with Zach from the Capitals, the team we had just left. But, you know, it was still... A great season nonetheless. The team still looks very good on paper here. And we have none other than Tino Manny, 98 overall in net. Getting up there in age, obviously, but another President's Trophy here. 117 points from the Oilers, 38 wins, and a 906 save percentage from Tino Manny this year. The Oilers would be deleted in the conference finals by the Dallas Stars in seven games. And I decided to stay with Edmonton because of how good we were. It was actually a little ridiculous. The two teams I got on have just been insane. I feel like that's kind of the way it seems to be with these Bia pros. Um, yeah, another Stanley Cup, by the way, and also a Conn Smythe. Not a big deal. But in these Bia pros, it really does sort of end up turning out like that. It seems like there's some powerhouse teams and they stay good. And then there's some bad teams and they stay bad. And it really just stays that way. But anyways, hoisting the cup again this time in an Oilers jersey, and yeah, you saw as we were grabbing it, but just for the graphic as well, a Conn Smythe team won the President's Trophy as well this year, and we got a 917 
And 48 wins from Tino Manny this time around. Here's the playoff tree, but as you know, we had taken a W. The team, once again, looks very good. And we are ready for another season here. Another Vesna for Tino Manny. Shocker, honestly. But this actually is a shocker. We didn't get the President's Trophy this time. So that one actually is a bit out there. 909 as the save percentage for Tino Mans. And yeah, had the most wins in the league. Team was destroyed by the Oats. I mean, not really destroyed, but seven games. They got first rounded. And going to Minnesota because why not? Here's the team. Once again, it looks like a very good team. So I don't know if maybe, maybe all the teams are just good and I'm crazy. Defense is meh, but you know. Do got 92 overall Tino Manny at the age of 35. Wasn't going so well. So I said, nah, get me out of here once again. And we are headed to the Golden Knights, baby. So yeah, here's the roster for the Golden Knights. Um, it looks way worse than Minnesota, I must say. So I was a little concerned when they traded me here. Kind of saying like, what's up? But yeah, Minnesota finished two points ahead of us. And, you know, still finished well with 99 points and a... Not great save percentage from Tino Manny, I must say. So maybe I was the reason Minnesota was suffering. But yeah, it is what it is. Here's the lineup once more. It doesn't look great, I have to say, compared to the other teams. But it does still manage to do well. It just consistently did well. President's Trophy here, 109 points, 52 wins on the season. A 918 from Tino Mans. And yeah, it's just a, a pretty much a bounce back year. The team would be deleted in the first round, only taking five games, though. So the Ducks essentially rinsed them. And now we have a contract decision here. Decided to go back with the Knights because, I don't know, Dallas wasn't really offering as much. And they just weren't as good. Where We are consistently doing pretty good now with the Golden Knights. Another Vesna, another William M. Jennings. And a second place finish this time. Coyotes beat us by one point. Tino Manny would have a 926 and 38 wins on the year. And the Golden Knights would be first rounded again in five games again. I believe I decided to stay though because they offered me 11, whereas LA offered me 9.8. So yeah, we did stay. That's, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter because the team is better anyway. So I think it was the right call to make both financially and for the wins. <laughs> so yeah, we got a Jennings here again. We did have another goalie who was also the same overall as us, but we had the starting spot with 57 games played. And yeah, decent stats this time around. The team would be eliminated in the first round again. Six games this time, though. Little bit of an improvement to the Colorado Avalanche. The team looking, you know, decent here. Still got Tino Mans in net and Hodgson. So they got two great goalies here with 95 points this year. They'd finish second in their division. And we got an 898 save percentage from Tino. I don't know why. But anyway, six games again, round one. So on that note, I said, absolutely screw that. And I went to Winnipeg. So here's the roster for the Jets. Looking pretty solid. Uh, defense, not so much. But again, you got Tino Manny backstopping you. So you don't need defense. 94 points, good enough for second in the central and we got a 908 save percentage from tino manny 70 games played so yeah they just played the living crap out of tino and once again six games first round exit i just <laughs> don't know what it is but man tino just cannot catch a break right now in the playoffs or any team tino is playing for 94 overall tino man's gonna have a stellar year here with the jets taking home the vesna trophy and on top of that, also taking home the William M. Jennings once again. I'm not even keeping track at this point. So if any of you guys know, then great, considering I also actually played several seasons. But another President's Trophy as well. 918 save percentage, 47 wins. And we would be eliminated in the second round this time. Seven games. At least we got past round number one. Decided to stay with the peg here because they were offering more money. And again, team's doing good. So here's the roster, looking fairly solid. Tino Manny in net, now at the young age of 42. I think that's, you know, much below the league average. And we got the private island here, because why not? Also, break the NHL record for wins next game. You know, that's a simple challenge, right? Just break the NHL record. So I thought maybe something cool would happen. No, nothing cool happened. We just had a regular celebration. Commentary didn't mention anything. And then we just had a casual interview saying, 
hey, you know, good job, I guess. And then I gained 55 followers for that. So that's sick. But anyway, the infamous mode complete message popped up. 1,528 games over 25 seasons. 932 wins to his name. 89 shutouts. I wonder how many of those I got. Probably not a whole lot of them. Anyways, yeah, tons of trophies between the Vezina, the Con Smythe, the William M. Jennings, four Stanley Cups. It's been quite a career. And honestly, I just really want to say thank you guys so much for the support you've showed this series. It has been amazing. I can't believe we made it to 100 episodes. I know there's not nearly as many people watching as when it first came out, obviously, because it's a, a massive commitment. 912 save percentage overall, pretty solid. And yeah, so once again, just really wanted to give a heartfelt thank you for choosing this series, watching it. For any of you guys that are still watching it, you are the real MVPs. I believe that we will be doing this series as well when NHL 22 comes out. And I can't wait to do it on the PlayStation 5. I hope it's a little bit different. But yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon.